When you're lost wondering just what to do Remember many others feel just like you There's only one who never fails The perfect man From the prophet tales It was a usual evening in the unbearable desert heat of Arabia. The sun was travelling toward its resting place as it always does. It had travelled on this path nearly every day as far as they remembered it. But things were expected to change soon. On this particular evening, two men, one who called himself a prophet and the other, Abu Dhar, one of his loyal minions, observed the sun near the end of its daily journey and made some truly profound observations. <sighs> As the sun was about to disappear, the prophet said, It's so beautiful, right? It is, O oh messenger of Allah. Sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Do you know where the sun goes? Allah and his apostle, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, know best. That's right. So let me tell you. <clears throat> Well, when the daylight of the morning comes, the sun rises from its rising place as it always does because that's where Allah makes it rise. It runs for a certain time through the sky and travels until it reaches its setting place under the throne of Allah where it then rests and spends the night prostrating to Allah as it should because the sun is a devout and obedient Muslim. Really? Yes, yes. Wait. How does the sun prostrate? What? Well, the sun is a big glowing ball of light, so I don't understand how it can lie down. Wouldn't it just sort of roll around? Or does it have the ability to spread itself out like a carpet? Well, you see... The answer is very simple, of course. It is a metaphysical matter. Uh... Who is this? Shall I cut off his head, Ya Rasulullah? Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Maybe later. Anyway, where was I? You said the sun prostrates like a good Muslim. Oh yeah, it does. The sun is in prostration to Allah like a good Muslim and then it asks Allah for permission to rise again and Allah gives it permission and then it rises from its rising place so it travels again for a specified term to its resting place. Into a muddy spring, right? O messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam! No. Yeah, uh, just listen please. The sun travels to its resting place and prostrates itself and asks for permission and it is given permission and then it rises again and so on until one day the sun will once again ask for permission to rise but Allah will not give it permission. Allah will tell the sun to go back where it came from and to rise from it's set in place. <gasps> and on that day, the sun will rise from its setting place in the west when nobody expects it. And on that day, no repentance will be valid and no person's belief will be accepted if he has not believed before. That is crazy. That is insane. Wow. May Allah protect us from going astray. May Allah protect us on that day. Ya Rasul Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Yes, yes. And that is why in the holy Quran, Allah says that the sun travels for a specified term to its resting place. This is the meaning of that. Allahu Akbar, you are full of wisdom, Ya Rasul Allah. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam! What are you talking about, dude? That is completely wrong. That's not wisdom, it's ridiculous. The sun doesn't travel somewhere. It doesn't have a rising place or a setting place, let alone a resting place. It doesn't go to some weird throne and prostrate and come back. Our Earth is spherical. The sun is a giant ball that we revolve around as our planet spins, which is why it appears to our eyes as if the sun is going somewhere and coming back again. In reality, it is not going anywhere at sunset, so that whole assertion is completely wrong. 
And there is no time that the sun could go anywhere. Technically, it is always night somewhere on the Earth and always day somewhere else. Because the Earth spins, and as we turn away and back toward the sun, the sun appears and disappears to us. And we call that day and night. In some parts of the world, the sun is visible for months. So, <laughs> the sun cannot go back to its setting place and cannot rise in the west one day. That makes no sense at all. This is funny stuff though, I have to give you that. <laughs> you guys really need to make some progress and learn about the realities of the natural world. This whole profit thing is a little bit ridiculous. There is no wisdom in that. And you are not a prophet, you're just some guy who is making up a lot of stuff. I'm telling you, nobody is dumb enough to believe in your religion in a few hundred years. I mean seriously, do you really think- Allahu Akbar! Well, that takes care of that. Do you believe these people? I only believe in Allah and his messenger. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam! That's my boy. So, anyway, soon the Dajjal will appear and the last hour will begin. You have to be... Stay away from Islam. Thank you.